Alrighty guys, so we just got back to the house. We're just gonna fill that fish now. I'll show you how I clean it. There's many ways to do it. This is the way I do it. I'm not the fastest, but I'll get it done and usually I get no bones. So that's kind of the main thing. I'm probably gonna make this into another video too if you guys are just watching just to how to clean a walleye because we didn't catch much fish today. So I'm wasting everybody's time to finish the video with this. So, so I'll show you how I clean a fish. Okay, so the first thing I always do is sharpen these knives because they're absolutely garbage. And I haven't found a good knife. Every single thing I buy, I always have to sharpen it every two to three fish. But it stays really good for one fish and it's terrible right after. Don't get it. Trash! So I'm not much for uh, explaining stuff, I'm pretty bad at it. But what I do is you go behind the fin, you kind of at an angle going straight in to hit the bone, and then you turn it back and go all the way down the spine. You flip it, do the same thing on that side. And then there's a couple ways you can do this. I changed the ways I do it now. So after I cut it in and then we cut away or cut it into the bone and then start going back, you try to keep it right on this side of the spine coming back close as you can. When you get to the ribs, you'll feel the ribs. Then you slowly just peel and fillet it right off the ribs as you go. And then you get past the ribs, you push the knife all the way through and then you go straight off out the tail following the spine and you will feel it the whole time too. So I hope that made sense. I'll, I'll explain it more as we go. Okay, so I moved the angle a little bit and hopefully the lighting's okay. So I just go behind the fin on an angle and then you can, if you go kind of in with the scales, it's easier to go and you just keep going until you feel the bone on each side. Make sure it's all the way through. You'll feel it when, it's stop, when it bombs out. You flip it over, do the same thing. All the way through behind the fin, go down. Just like that until you feel it. Now, what I was saying, we just work our way back with the knife going this way. You don't want to go through the ribs. You'll feel them go on top. Then push it through. Oh, I'll show you as we go again. So kind of get in there. Get in there, start turning the knife, and go back. Just go slow. Yeah. You feel it go. And you got to be careful. You just don't, don't want to go. You can go through the, uh, the spine if you have a sharp knife, which we do not, so you gotta be careful that way too. And when you get past the rib cage, gotta be careful. It's probably about there. Then you gotta push it all the way through, like that. And then you follow the knife. I think I went through the spine. No, I did a little bit. So you gotta be careful. And then follow the spine. All the way back and out, and you'll fall. Oh, I didn't go through the spine. I thought I did. That's my bad there. Of course, this thing's dull. <laughs> it's not going to go through. So now, I hope I can feel. I'll kind of. Oh, this is really awkward because I'm going to try and. Oh my gosh, can you guys even see? Yeah. Going to make sure. I'm going to do this. is backwards. This is actually backwards, but you can maybe see a little better with the lighting. So you just basically go down. And you can, if you listen when I'm doing this, you can hear the spines. So that's it. You feel it? You just keep going down. You can see I'm clo slowly getting, I'm, oh, the, I'm terrible at explaining and lighting. <laughs> so yeah, you can see I'm missing the spine, or the ribs. Just keep going down. Just like that. It's slippery. This is really awkward. I don't hold it this way, but I'm trying to do this for the video. So you slowly go down, just like that. It's really not hard. You do a few, do a few of them. You'll get the hang of it. Oh, just like that. Pour all the way through. I'm just gonna switch hands for a second here. Way easier. Just keep going back, 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 back. Here we go again. Just like that. And you get past the ribs, you can tell. It goes like that. And just go down further. You get a little more meat, not much. And then pull back like this. And this is the one step. So it's, this is a good size. Smaller are a little better to eat, but I didn't get only one, so I really want to eat some uh, walleye or pig girl. We're going to call them. So that's that side. 
and you can see we did a perfect one right down the spine. I thought I went through it that one part, but I didn't. And here is all the ribs in here. Can I see? I see all the ribs. So now we flip it over and do the exact same thing. And now it's really backwards, but actually it's easier for you to see this time. So same thing, you can tell you go about an inch or so and you can turn the knife there and then start coming back. And it's easier, I think, if you put your hand like this, especially in the video, I'm trying to, it's really awkward. And go down the side of the spine. You can feel it, go slow. Just like that. And then put the knife up, through, and you're past the ribs, yeah. like that. And then you tilt the knife this way to get back on the spine and go all the way out. And you can feel it. You can hear it too. And we're out. Shut the door, please, Lawson, if you're going out. So, same thing. Try and do this for you guys can see it easier. It's backwards entirely for me, so it's really weird. Oh. Way I'm holding it because I'm trying to have it on for the GoPro. Okay, so same thing. You just got to keep feeling it, and you'll feel the the ribs, rivets, whatever you want to call them, the ribs, to vibrate when you. <laughs> You have the feeling of it, you know what I mean. Like I said, I'm not for explaining stuff. Keep going. Keep following them. I think my big head's in the way. I couldn't really, I think that was blocking the light. So I'm trying to angle the fish so you guys can still see it the best you can. Just that. That. Then we go down. I'm holding my the knife like a pencil, but it's actually working pretty good. I could have got a little more there, but the ribs are pretty well right there, so I could have got a little closer there. Mainly because I'm kind of holding it awkward for this, but it gives you the idea. And then, go like this. Just like that. Yeah. And that takes care of this guy. So it's pretty good. Got pretty well all of it. We can throw him out now. So this is the cool part. I love always, I really like doing this part. It just feels awesome. So you got to get as close as you can to the skin. Start it without cutting your finger. Ugh, could have got a little better there. And all you do is just get to the bottom of the skin, the scales. And then if you got a sharp knife, which this isn't, so it makes it a lot easier, but you just kind of wiggle the knife. And then it takes all the fillet right off. Oh, it's kind of slippery. Kind of awkward to hang on to. Yeah, we have a new furnace. Okay, and you go like this. Keep wiggling it, wiggling it. You still in shot? Okay, good. Go like Daddy, that. Hang on a second, please. Supper's ready. Yeah, well, not this supper yet. Go all the way off no. like this. The real supper. I'm going Keep to wiggling it like that. Okay, see ya. And that's there. It takes it off very nicely. And this is one done right here. Really nice size one too. And if you, if you, you I always check to make sure bones, like I am really, usually pretty good. But you can feel too if you did cut it a little bit late. Or cut it a little bit off or whatever. You know what I mean. Just feel it. Feel it. You'll make sure there's no bones in there and there's not. So that's one done for that guy. And I just put a little pail. Same thing again for this guy. And if you, you probably already noticed if you guys haven't done this, but the ribs are right here. We just kind of, that's where we got them out. So, same thing. Get your finger close. Oh my gosh. Ah! Go like that. And I got this, this, don't worry about the fans. You can cut them off before you do this too if you want. Or just keep going around like that. And just peels off like it. Pretty sweet. That's the funnest part to do is that part. And we give her a little rub down. Make sure no one's going to choke. Uh, yeah, feels like we got everything out of there. I just always double check just to make sure because they're like little needles. And that's pretty well how I always uh, fillet uh, walleye.
It's exactly the same as a perch. Exact same structure. Like jack and um, like trout, they have pin bones. There's a second little thing you got to do. It's easier to explain it or in another video. But that's about it. Nice size, really nice size place. And I love them just in flour and oil. That's it. Simple. Amazing. So this is sweet. So thanks for watching once again. And I like wasting everybody's time. That's how I do walleye. If you guys like it, subscribe. We'll try and do some more videos when we get more fish. Eh, they're not biting much right now, but it's still fun to go out. So, see you guys next time.